Welcome back to the Yaya Tarot. So this video will be for um, the Aries. Anywhere Aries falls in your chart, the messages may or may not apply. Um, if you would like to book a personal reading, you can check the description box below for details. Um, in the meantime, like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. All right. So for the Aries, this is like a who's spying on you or who's watching you reading. All right. So let's get right into it. Okay. So what do you have for the Aries? Who's spying or watching the Aries? Let's see. All right, so I have the Justice card. Wow. Okay, so <laughs> some of you could be uh, dealing with, like, you know, court and things of that nature. Okay, so this could be, like, a PO. This could be, you know, um, like an investigator. Okay, someone investigating a case on you. All right, someone who, um, something with legal, legal documents, legal rights. Okay. I feel like this is someone who's just investigating. This could be like a background check, all right? The system, just period, all right? So let's see, what's the personality or unique message? Or this person who is, um, the person who's watching you, they work like in law enforcement, okay? Or they have that type of like background, Okay, and this also, okay, with the keys here, this also can be like a landlord, all right? This is someone who has like some documents or something of yours, all right? All right, let's see. Personality, unique message, um, trait uh, for the Aries of who's watching them. What can you tell me about this person? All right, the Hierophant here. Someone who definitely like whatever role they play in your life is very powerful. I'm feeling like it's like a judge, okay? Or like police enforcement, investigator, or PO, okay? This is like someone who has authority or they have say so. All right. I have the five of cups here. This could be a boss too, but I'm I'm kind of not getting boss though. All right, I have the lovers here. Okay. Okay, so now I'm kind of getting like security guard or someone works in security. Like, they watch people for a living. Like, that's what they actually do. Okay. Okay, and then I have the Knight of Swords. I'm hearing Crime Stoppers. Okay. I'm not saying, you know, anyone is involved in, like, you know, some bullshit <laughs> but i don't know that's just kind of what i'm getting all right and then the king of pentacles here all right so whoever it is they have some type of say so all right they could be a security guard security guard of the building all right they could be from a, a corporate um place all right all right yeah They could be a judge, all right? But what they do, they are the ones that they go to for, like, people come to them for the answers, all right? Whether, like, someone could be free or not or, you know, whether, you know, the rent is, you know, overpaid or, I mean, if the rent is overdue, okay, you're going to go to this person. If, um, if you have to bail someone out, okay, 
I don't know. Let's see. What does this person want from the Aries? Okay, Six of Swords. Okay. King of Cups. This person could be coming to you um, with good news, all right? So they also, so they they deliver bad news, but they also deliver good news, all right? But I feel like here they're delivering good news with the Six of Swords and the King of Cups here. Like either, you know, you got the plea, okay? Or your case is closed, all right? You don't owe any fines, all right? Or... Let's see, what do they want for the Aries? All right, the Ten of Swords, yeah. Because I feel like something's been a long time coming or like it's been a case that's been long going, okay, or ongoing, all right? Yeah, with the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords here. It's like you're tired of the back and forth, okay? Having to go back and forth to court or, you know, keep having to sign documents, all right? This could be like, you know, a landlord leasing statement or something like that, okay? I have the Knights of Pentacles here. Yeah, definitely some documents. I have the Eight of Wands on the top of the deck, all right? Yeah, with the Seven of Cups, all right? So it's like, this is the last time that you have to deal with them here. I'm kind of getting this is the last time. Something's about to be closed, like the case is about to be closed. <sighs> For some of you, it's not over yet. Like, this is the one thing that's holding you back, these documents, this paper, this paperwork, okay? Okay. I feel like they're watching you for a reason to like see if you deserve this, okay? Like if they're gonna let you off, if they're gonna let you go, if they're gonna drop the case, all right? If this is like a landlord situation, I feel like the landlord has someone watching you, okay? Or maybe they, they got a case up against you or something trying to like get you out of a home don't be phased by it okay i feel like they say a lot of things like just to test you to see what you're gonna say so say you know for instance you know in your home you're only supposed to have like you know you dogs are not allowed or something like that animals are not allowed i'm getting a sense of like them asking certain things like you know um do you hear barking noise or you know trying to pick pick yeah or they're um what is it called or like they're hunting for answers okay or fishing that's what it's called they're fishing for answers i feel like that's what they're trying to do okay so be careful when you're talking to this person okay if they do approach you or be careful what you're saying because it's like they're going to use that against you or they're going to use that to either like for some of you, they're going to use information to help you. And then some of you, they're going to use information to like against you to try to get you out of a place or out of a home. All right. But it just depends on your situation. Like if you already know you've been dealing with your ignorant ass landlord, you already know how this is about to go. All right. And I, I wanted to say too, like, with the landlord, all right, hold off, all right? I'm not going to say don't pay your rent, but just wait a moment, okay? Just hold on a moment. Because they may be trying to charge you like a, a fee for the animal or a pet fee or something like that. But I feel like it that is not in the lease, though. The lease doesn't say like, you know, you have to pay a pet fee or something. So don't be so quick to just like accept whatever charges or fees that they're asking of you just give it a moment okay all right 
So this, this is probably going to just resonate with a few Aries, all right? So let's see, what does your higher self, you know, feel or think about the situation? For some of you that's going through it with the landlord, like, this is really, like, pure BS, okay? I feel like before, they might have, like, flirted with you before, and then, like, you know, one day, like, you rubbed them the wrong way, or they rubbed you the wrong way, and then it just flipped the switch, like, then that's when they started to act, like, nasty, or be very, like, vengeful, okay? Like, this is business, like, but I feel like someone's acting like a B.I. Okay. All right. Let's see. How does your higher self feel about or think about this situation? All right. Harmony, you are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. Okay. So... I feel like with this situation, okay, yeah, and responsibility, okay. So with this um, specific situation, okay, it's like maybe you've been a little argumentative too, all right? You being argumentative is not helping the situation. Like if they want their rent, if they change the rent date, I see, I feel like some of you, it's very inconvenient that they've done that, but just follow the rules like whatever it say don't even try to um push the situation harder or more okay because i do feel like someone is being unfair here and it's like aggravating you it's annoying you but don't push it too far just you know do your part you know, do whatever is asked of you, and then that that's it. Just leave it at that. All right. Like, do whatever you've been doing, do that. I feel like someone has to write, like, they have to go above, like, um, not the landlord. Yeah, they have to go above the landlord. Like, so whatever, like, if they change the date or something, like, I'm seeing someone has to like write a letter or something like, oh, I'm only able to pay this day, okay? Or I can pay, but it's going to be like two days late or it's going to be seven days late. It's very inconvenient due to my paycheck or something like that or the way that I'm paid. It's, I feel like someone's going to have to write a letter to like someone above the landlord, okay? Because this is like BS. Like, I don't know. But if, if that's what you have to do, do that. And then don't even say any anything more about it, okay? Someone's being pushy, okay? Let's see. So this is um, advice and guidance from your higher self. Freedom. Yeah. Okay. You are releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. All right. Yeah. So like you are going back and forth with this landlord or, you know, the judge or whoever this is or the PO. It's not really doing you any any well. All right. I feel like you're making a fuss and you don't really have to. You're just being kind of like rebellious here because you can. And it's like, it's, it's doing you more stress than anything. It's causing you more stress, especially if this is like your home. Like you don't want to lose your home or get kicked out of a home just because you and this person had a disagreement. All right. And then I have kindness on the bottom of the deck. Yeah. You need to find some kindness, Aries. I know that's, you know, a little hard in the situation because I feel as though some of you are like, I know I'm not wrong. But with the justice here, like, I, I feel like you will end up getting justice for it. You, if you just play it cool, all right? Play it cool, okay? Don't let their words get to you. Don't let them get to you. I don't think they can kick you out here. 
they're trying to, they're trying, you know, their hardest. Let's see, advice and guidance going forward for the Aries. Advice and guidance going forward for the Aries. This will not resonate with everyone. All right, take the message as it applies. All right, so five of pentacles worry, yeah. Okay. I feel like that's the big thing here. Maybe you're worried. Maybe you could be worried about income here or money, okay, that you can't pay something, okay, or sacrificing. You're sacrificing something. It could be money, all right, or you feel like something is out of your control, And then we have the strength card, yeah. Just hold your head up, okay? Pick your head up, Aries. It'll all be over soon, all right? I know this is a little bumpy. It's a little tough right now. I have the hacker. Someone's definitely watching, okay? I'm kind of getting a sense of like somebody could be watching like your expenses or trying to know what your exp expenses are. Because it's like, okay, you don't have rent, but how are you, you know, how do you have a new car or how do you this or, you know, someone's trying to get all up in the business. But with this strength card here, okay. Let's see, let's get another one on the five of pentacles. All right, because I don't want to end off on that. Another one for the Aries with the five of pentacles. And that's the thing, like the things you can control, like, you know, if money is at a halt right now, it's at a halt. Like you, you know, I mean, obviously like get another job if that's, you know, something that you need to do. But if it's at a halt because, you know, the system has crashed or something of that nature, like it's out of your hands. Don't stress too much about it. The things that are out of your hands, don't stress too much about them. All right, or overwhelm yourself. Okay, yeah, Eight of Pentacles, prudent. Yeah, this is paying attention to detail as well. That's what I'm saying. I feel like someone's looking or watching to see what you spend your money on. And this could also be you too, all right? You need to be like watching what you're doing with your money, all right? Or make looking in the fine lines of the lease, okay? Or these documents, this contract, Making sure you're overviewing everything just so no one can get anything past you. Yeah, the justice card again. Because it's like they may be trying to like uh, push you into a corner or corner you. But I feel like you're going to be okay. You have to play it cool. You have to play it safe. All right. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and close out the reading, all right? But this is also confirmation that you will get justice, okay? As long as you play it cool, all right? All right, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and close out the reading. Please like, comment, subscribe, share, all that. And thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.